a little bit about how to use some of the uh, social networking sites and staying a bit safer on the internet in general. So there are more than 845 million users on Facebook. That's more than 12 times the entire population of the United Kingdom. Um, 500 million of those are using Facebook regularly, that means once a week or even daily. Um, the general rule is that to be on Facebook or any social network you should be over 13 years old. That's because of US uh, laws. Um, but it's very easy to pretend that you're over 13 and you really are. came across some details of what generally happens on an average 20 minute time scale on Facebook. And if you look at the slide, over 1 million links are shared every 20 minutes. And 1,320,000 photographs have somebody's name or somebody's group tagged within them. In that 20 minutes, also 1,484,000 invitations to events, to groups and such like are sent in 20 minutes. Also, you'll find over 1,851,000 status updates every 20 minutes worldwide for the average 20 minute period of Facebook. Uh, nearly 2 million friends are made uh, in 20 minutes. Uh, a million and a half posts are put on people's walls. Over 2 million photos are uploaded every 20 minutes. Um, 10 million comments, which is a lot, <laughs> and 2 million private messages are sent between people. Uh, That's in 20 minutes. now. Have a think what you've just done for 20 minutes and think that while you were doing that, all of that went on on Facebook. Some more statistics that you may want to consider about the average Facebook user is that each Facebook user on average has 130 friends. They spend their time making friends at an average of 8 per month and they spend around 15 and a half hours a month making 40 visits a month. They connect to roughly 80 groups, events or community pages also. 200 million users are accessing Facebook each day on their phones. Um, this, these users are twice as active as the average user who is just using the web browser. Facebook users in general are 51% male, which is in return over 48% female. And there are three main age groups by size being the 26 to 34 year olds at 26%, 25% of them are 18 to 25, and there's 20% that are 13 to 17 year olds. Uh, the remaining 29% are over 35. Facebook users are literally all over the world, every country. Uh, the USA comes in with the most users um, at 155 million. The United Kingdom is currently third with 33 million, which accounts for more than half of the UK population. Uh, the top 10 countries are constantly changing by number of users. At the moment they include uh, Turkey, Australia and France. It's really important when you're using Facebook as one of these 845 million users that you realise a little bit about the internet and the way it works. Um, a common quote that's been used about the internet is that it's written in pen. It's not written in pencil. Pencil can be erased with rubber, whereas pen is always going to be there in one way or another. So, we we'll talk a little bit about a digital footprint. Now, this is anything that you ever do on the internet can create a digital footprint. You need to consider who you would like to see uh, your digital footprint. Uh, so, and these people could include your parents, your teachers, your friends, uh, total strangers, or your future employers. So if it's something silly, you don't want your future employer to see it. Just to reiterate that it can be permanent and it can be public. You need to think about what you're posting before you actually put it on the internet because you don't know if what you've put there has been copied and where it's going to go if it has been copied. So you could end up in a demotivational poster, so a poster with a little caption underneath, or you could end up on Failbook, which is a blog um, recording the silliest things that you can find on Facebook. Most users, whilst using Facebook, will at some point install an application 
or a game or an app, um, just to enhance their time on Facebook, makes it a little bit more fun, makes it a little bit more useful. They can range from photo sharing applications to massive online community games to solo games like poker. Currently the most popular games as of today, according to appdata.com, are Cityville with 47 million users today, Texas Hold'em Poker with 33 million users, and Bandpage with 32 million users as well. These numbers are constantly changing, there's no constant uh, top game or app. It's really important to know about the apps that you're using on your Facebook account. It's good to know which ones that you want and which ones you don't want because the more you have, the more have access to your information. When you sign up to an app, you have to confirm that you give it permission to access your details, to be able to post as you, to be able to contact your friends. And the more apps you have, the more apps will be doing that on a regular basis. It's a good idea to occasionally go through and check which apps have got uh, permission to go through your information because you can't stop people looking at your information if you don't know who has permission to. Have you ever Googled yourself? I know I have and I'm sure most people have but if you haven't it's really really useful to have a look and investigate your digital footprint. If there's anything that perhaps isn't true or you don't want people to be seeing um, quite publicly by searching for you, it's a good idea to go and work with the website that's hosting the information that you don't want online and work with them to get it taken down. Go back to the point about the internet being written in pen as opposed to pencil. It's important to look out for your friends while you are on the internet. Posting anything about your friend is just as permanent as posting something about yourself. Your posts will play as much a part in your digital reputation as they will your friends. So commenting on a funny post that's probably quite inappropriate will impact you as much as it will your friends. So always think twice about what you're posting and where you're posting it. In addition to that, we've all left Facebook or a social network logged in at some point and walked away from our computer to come back and find that someone else has been very hilarious and put some posts on there. It's probably a good idea to leave it logged out if you're going to walk away. It's really important to think about the friend requests you're getting on Facebook or any other social networking site that you may be using. Think about who you're accepting as a friend. We all know by now, being all grown up, that we don't accept friend requests from strangers, the same as we wouldn't speak to strangers as we were children. But what do you do about people you know of, so a friend of a friend? Uh, it's very easy to collect up friends when you're on a social network. Um, so it's said that the average person knows 250 people in real life. How many people of your friends on social networks do you know have a lot more than that? Um, you need to think about when choosing whether to accept someone as a friend. Uh, if you would stop and talk to them in the street, maybe you could accept them. If you would walk past them and totally ignore them, it's probably best not to. Thank you for your attention and listening to what we have to say. There are some interesting points, maybe some good advice. Certainly up to you whether you take it or not. But certainly worth having a look at your digital footprint. Go to a search engine. Stick your name in, see what comes up. Thank you. Thank you. Come on.